Hey guys, this is Sasha from Stepshot and I'm here to introduce you with Stepshot Guides Pro features. So here's the start um, screen of our application. Obviously you can create a new guide within here and uh, like the main functionality that we have built into the product is actually capturing a step-by-step -step procedure. Uh, so capture process button allows you to start capturing the procedure and right now we have four modes how we can capture the procedure it's full screen active window selected region or stripe of active window stripe of active window is something we introduced uh, recently uh, that allows you to select uh, um, how much of the actual active window would appear in your final document uh, just to save space in your documentation itself so let's start with that I'm going to show you how to work with uh, a desktop application that is System Preferences. This is the default one for a Mac. Uh, the same would work for Windows or any kind of web application because we've built a mechanism that works uh, uh, through OCR and through integrating into operational systems that works on um, all three platforms, Mac, Windows and Linux. So I would go into a network settings uh, and here I would just click and unclick for the sake of simplicity this button and click apply uh, so this is a fourth steps guide that i was just creating in a matter of seconds um, as you can see uh, two of these steps are duplicated i will remove those and i would like somehow to highlight like there are several sections in this simple guide. First one would be uh, the section that would be called uh, Start Procedure. And uh, let's say uh, the, next, uh, the last step would be in the End Procedure section. So um, I'm done working with the actual guide and now I can export this into a PDF. Uh, so PDF export uh, did change uh, quite a lot from the previous release of Snapshot Guides. First of all, we introduced this uh, what you see is what you get uh, PDF template editor where you can edit um, all the aspects of the uh, text that appear on the actual page itself you can see that we have a placeholders like page numbers uh, here you can see that we have a table of contents uh, you can see that uh, we have different layouts for steps uh, the first three layouts uh, they are pretty usual for our users but the last one was introduced uh, recently and it allows again to save as much space as possible on the exported document itself so i really like this one the most so i would save this um, template as it is also i can select an image quality for the exported document and it actually allows me to save the space on disk of the exported document um, so with the smaller uh, quality images we not only decrease the quality of the image itself but also resize the image which is um, like without decreasing the quality would, would allow us to save the space um, on the disk itself also um, I can click the next and now I see the preview of uh, uh, the document that I've just built so um, I can see the steps uh, these uh, steps are in the first section uh, this step is the last section unfortunately without the text but I'm able to export this into a PDF file um, um, let's save it on a local drive uh, I'm clicking save and now the document is being prepared so right now the actual PDF is being rendered in background. Um, this is procedure that uh, is uh, very fast from the image processing, uh, but it takes a while to actually compile everything into one document. And when I actually open the document itself, you can see that uh, everything was compiled into a nicely styled guide that can be branded with your colors and uh, that you can share with your customers or save as internal uh, procedure for your colleagues. Um, so also, I would like to show you 
uh, advanced uh, features that we have built already. This is a Word document export, HTML export. Uh, it's a Word document export. Um, with Word, it's really cool that you can actually edit the template within Word itself. So you can achieve pretty sophisticated functionality when dealing with the Word uh, itself because uh, it's a very usual environment for creating step-by-step -step, uh, procedures. You can select different um, colors, uh, fonts, you can reuse templates that you have already created for your internal documentation in Word. You just need to set up uh, information in here into this kind of placeholders that will be replaced on the export. So uh, this is kind of uh, the document. This is a tabled layout, pretty sophisticated that you can reuse. So um, feel free to play with all these templates. Uh, there is a set of predefined templates uh, that are built into the product itself and you would try, uh, try to uh, change the predefined templates. Um, it would just create a copy of those and you can proceed uh, with the copy editing and uh, working forward. The same settings as for the image quality, so uh, the same kind of flexibility that you can achieve uh, with the PDF. Uh, then HTML export. With HTML export, we've built this uh, uh, set of uh, built-in templates uh, that look really nice, and you can also get directly your hands dirty with the HTML itself and uh, see how it would look like into. Um, in your exported document. So this is kind of functionality that you have. Uh, you can also edit existing template and uh, that would allow you direct access to the template file, um, HTML file, also the CSS files, uh, if you would like to work with that. And also I would like to highlight uh, the video exporting. So uh, Stripe capturing actually recorded this tribe of active window and i really don't like this into a video exporting mode so what i would do i would restore the original images and this is like functionality that is built into the stripe capturing is that it actually takes uh, the active window but at the same time it um, automatically crops the region but snapshot uh, is pretty sophisticated when it works with the images themselves so it saves the original image and uh, when you do the cropping it also allows you to restore uh, to this original original image that uh, was saved uh, during the procedure. So uh, right now I would like to go and export into a video file. Uh, from this perspective, I would like also to highlight that the PowerPoint export is coming soon. And uh, um, in, in here, I would like to select uh, only the steps with the actual um, images, not the headings, although this also might go into exported document. And for this step, I see that I don't have any kind of uh, text description that would be automatically narrated for myself. So I would like to actually uh, narrate this uh, on my own. Uh, to do that, I would click record my own voice and uh, let me just uh, do this really quick. Uh, this is uh, automatic, uh, this is actually manual voiceover narration. I'm doing attaching to this step of uh, uh, this uh, actual audio capture. And now I'm able to export this as a video. So um, let's click save. And now three steps are being exported into a video file. So the images are being resized and uh, uh, adjusted to, to fit into this video size that is selected. Also, the subtitles will be shown as overlay of each step. Um, it takes a bit actually to compile the output document, but this is because the actual rendering process is happening right now. And if you have ever converted to, between different video file uh, formats, uh, you know that it takes a while. So uh, when... click on network. Click on L underscore L ask to join new networks. Click. And this is uh, automatic. Uh, this is actually manual voice over narration. Mouse. Click on network. 
So this is kind of a functionality that is uh, built into Snapshot already and uh, that you can use and you can see how quickly you can uh, create step-by-step -step descriptions and then to publish them directly into automatically narrated video file or you can just publish this into Word files and uh, within the Word you can post process them ad additionally adjust any kind of uh, additional styles don't forget about HTML and uh, PowerPoint uh, exports uh, that uh, um, are coming soon. HTML is already there. PowerPoint comes soon. So thank you. Thank you for your attention. Have a great day.